You're watching Del Marva Life, and I'm here alongside Jesus Gordiani, or Zeus, a chef at Benvenuto Restaurant in Milford. You've seen him on the show plenty of times. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, yeah, that's what that's what you're doing. <laughs> you cook, you cook. So, Zeus, when you come on the show, you know we're always talking to you about food. You know, whatever food it is. And I think a lot of people, when it comes to the upcoming holiday, mm -hmm. Memorial Day, absolutely, they think about food too, yes, right? Yes, they do, absolutely. But here's the deal: Memorial Day, it's it's really not about the barbecue. It's about so much more than that. It is. It is. It's about you know a lot of the sacrifices that our men and women have made, you yeah. know, so that you and I can do what we're doing now. That's that's exactly it. It mm -hmm. is totally about that. Those who gave the ultimate sacrifice to serve this country. And when you really think about those heroes you can't help but be humbled. And that is why at Coastal Hospice, they do their best to tend to those who served our country and who are still with us. Let's learn more now about the We Honor Veterans Program. A man who's serious about service to the red, white, and blue. Alvin Harmon joined the U.S. Army as a teenager. Right out of high school. That was then. Now he's the bereavement director at Coastal Hospice. A piece of that position he's particularly passionate about is having conversations with other veterans nearing the end of life. I speak military, so I know what to ask. I know um, what to say um, as not to cause any offense, but also to show some caring support during the uh, end of life for them. The We Honor Veterans Program at Coastal Hospice is what makes this possible. At its core, it's about recognizing and revering those who sacrificially served our country. The mission is carried out in various ways. One, a presentation ceremony. We present them with um, uh, a blanket or some commemorative flag. During that time, veterans are encouraged to share their stories. They share with me these invaluable stories. I get to hold them. I get to keep them. Stories for family members to hold and keep, too. For the first time, they get to hear about friends that they made that were lifelong, experiences they had that they would never talk about. You wouldn't believe what they get to hear. We supported a, a person who flew Kennedy's um, plane back from Texas back to uh, D.C. Um, also, people that were in Pearl Harbor, you know, that had to spend the night out in the water, treading water. One veteran they met had lost his Purple Heart somewhere along the way. We were actually able to get him his Purple Heart restored, engraved, mounted, and presented to him. And oh my gosh, he just cried for days. We Honor Veterans also assists veterans in enrolling and accessing VA benefits along with coordinating care. Alvin adds that what a lot of folks don't know is that for veterans, hospice care is an entitlement. We ought to take advantage of it. Another way this program makes a difference is they work with area veterans organizations to arrange color guards and attend events honoring veterans. With Memorial Day on the horizon, Alvin says it's crucial we all remember what that's about. It is an opportunity to honor those who've made the ultimate sacrifice, the men and women that have served in the U.S. Armed Forces that, you know, either died in battle or, you know, died with some wounds that they had gotten in battle. Alvin says many veterans today are still so committed to their service that they're even volunteering with the program. It's one of the most heartwarming things that I've ever seen. And for those of us who don't know what it's like, he says we just have to be willing to hear. If you're able to gain the trust of a veteran so that they're willing to tell you that story, pay attention, listen, yeah, and carry it, yeah. Give it the value and the honor that it deserves. A program leading the way when it comes to recognizing our hometown heroes. And Alvin adds that at the Mackey and Pam Stanzel house, they actually have an entire room dedicated to veterans. And I just, I love learning about this program and just mm -hmm. everything that it means to absolutely, our area. Absolutely, absolutely.